right hello youtube another quick video just to show you how to read your ecu this is a golf 7 2014 ecu we have all the connections in we are using the gbox 3 obd2 connected obd light showing green so we're good and before we proceed as usual just to show you the diagram okay so that is what i've done there looks untidy all the cable just going all over the place but that will give us a good read nevertheless so we escape that and we want to read our eprom Okay, so I just give you that warning. Don't use Bluetooth. So now we're establishing communication with the ECU. You can hear the ECU clicking and the OBD indicator on the top right. It's flashing green. Establishing connection. Is another click now we are reading EEPROM see how quick that is it just flies through the read flies through the read read successfully do you want to save it yes and we save that so we click OK. Right. Right, so now we're starting to read the flush data. Not my favorite because it does take quite a long time reading the flush. So this is really important, really, really important to get that synchronized data. So that's the emo data from your instrument cluster, emo data from the engine S ECU. That gives us more accurate synchronized data, enabling us to make the key. So it's very good practice to get the cluster read and get the engine ECU all the time and once again our connections we have the gbox 3 you need a 12 volt power connection all the time with this and then as you make your operations you can hear the clicking from the ECU itself it will click to show you that uh, you know you will know that there is a good connection right just 10% so I will pause this video and then come back when you're about to finish this flash data read right so this read for flash data has been quite a drag um, about 15 minutes if not more so you see this little green flashing light there that is to show that we have a good obd2 connection 
you can see right there obd2 connection to the gbox 3 86 percent It gets faster as we get to the end. There we go. Data read successfully. Do you want to save the data? Yes. Okay, so it's vehicle email, file saved successfully, okay. Right. Right, so with our reads in, we go for data processing. So load the EEPROM data and the flash data of the ECM. We say model, otherwise the email data is not decoded correctly. So we click OK and then we load EEPROM file. Click on that and the EEPROM file we read uh, today is the 22nd EDC. So that's it. So now we load the flash should be that one. Right, so there we go guys, load EEPROM complete, load flash is complete. So now what's left is to click decode. So now we get the CS code. Right, there we go. We have the CS code, we have the VIN number. So when we talk of sync data, we are talking of the CS code from the ECU and then CS code from the instrument cluster. And then that way you can calculate easily and a lot cheaper your sync data. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching.